Today on Ballistic Burgers, I'm going to be recreating the most iconic hamburger in all of Chicago. Cheeseburger, 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 no fries, chips, no Pepsi, Coke. Let's get going. So the Billy Goat Tavern was born in 1934. It was purchased as the Lincoln Tavern, which was right across from Chicago Stadium by a Greek immigrant named William Sienis. One night, William heard a noise outside. He went out to investigate and he saw that a goat had fallen off of a truck. So of course, he brought the goat into his tavern. The customers loved it and the Billy Goat Tavern was born. In 1964, they relocated. They're still there. They're still owned and operated by the Sienis family. And in the 70s, some of you may remember a really fantastic skit. It was an ongoing skit on Saturday Night Live, back when they were really, really funny. It's John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, Gilda Radner, they were all part of the skit. And it was just hilarious. Uh, if you order three cheeseburgers, the man taking the order behind the counter is going to turn to the kitchen and say, cheeseburger, 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 three times, you know, instead of just saying three cheeseburgers. Let's get going. We're gonna kick this off with making the burger patty I have here. A quarter ounce of beef. I'm not really sure how much beef they're using. They're making very, very thin patties. And I scaled the amount of meat I used to the buns, to the size of the buns. And for me, it turned out to be four ounces. So I've got my stainless steel ring. And I like to gauge the ring by the bun. So I like the ring to be just a little larger than the diameter of the bun. All right, so on this patty, I want to make sure that it's perfectly flat on both sides. So I'm going to take another parchment and put it on top here. And then I'm just going to use a spatula and kind of flatten it out a little bit. And I'm doing this just because right now there's all those divots in it from my fingers. I want to make sure that it bonds really nicely with the flat top. There, perfect. Now I already have the second one pre-made. So we're ready to start cooking. So I'm using a flat top today, medium high. We're gonna start off by toasting the buns and they are using fresh baked Kaiser rolls, which is what I happen to have right here. I'm just gonna put this a little bit of a toast here. This burger is going to cook very quickly, it's very thin. So once I get the toast on the buns, I'll move it over to the other side of the griddle, which isn't running, but it's still nice and warm. There we go, that's good. Nice light toast and it'll continue to toast again on that cooler side. All right, patty's down. A little salt. As you can see the top of the burger now is looking kind of wet and there's some pools building up. So we're going to go ahead and flip these. American cheese. All right, now we're going to take the patty and just slide it right on. And they're using a fork like this in place of their fingers. <laughs> Put that patty down. How <laughs> gorgeous. And this is basically how they serve it. Then the customer dresses the burger. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the raw onion on here. I love raw onion on our burger. They also have grilled onion. Then we're gonna pile on some pickles. And in honor of Chicago, I have some Vienna brand mustard. I don't know if that's what they're using. <laughs> and crown it. And there we have it. The double cheeseburger from the Billy Goat Tavern in Chicago. Let's take a look at that. Right off the bat, from a kind of a tactile angle. These buns are just so soft. <sighs> Smells good. Mm. Such a simple burger, but the two really thin patties on here makes it a little bit more special. It's really, really juicy. And I am 
acknowledging the fact that I don't use Kaiser rolls enough in my burgers because this is just, this is making this burger kind of takes it from just the atypical simple diner burger to another level, just the bun. I mean, so good. Mm. That is a good burger. Again, it's just one of those burgers that one of the things that makes it so good is the simplicity. It's just done right. The ingredients are there. The bun, again, is just top notch. Good burger, and it's been on my list for quite some time. My personal list. I remember, like, when I was in junior high watching, you know, the Saturday Night Live skit, just digging on it. Of course, on SNL, I think they, it's the Olympia, they call it. But good. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Make sure you ring the notification bell, thumb it up the video, and share the video. I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Cheers.